$550, are these worth it? Are there more flaws of them outside of the stupid case? And who are they for? My name is Jacqueline, all of that and more in this full review. Let's get two things out of the way. Yeah, the case is stupid. Not only is it not protective to the most important fragile part of the headphone and it makes carrying this around quite a nuisance, but it's also an integral part of the design. With no power button, this is the only way to turn them off. Come on. And the second thing, yes, they are $550, and yes, it is expensive. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you if I think it's worth it for $550. Okay, so you know how like bizarre and nonsensical this case is? The AirPods Max design is actually the opposite. Beautifully cut metal with a stunning finish, sleek adjustment for the earphones, and easily removable, comfortable ear cups. The headband is a mesh material and it actually does a great job with weight distribution because these are heavy. The weight feels like it disappears when you're staying still, but the second you moved, you're reminded of how heavy these are. And to be honest, I'm not in love with it. Aside from the weight, they are pretty comfortable and the ear cushions are a great material. But with that weight, I noticed for an extended period of time that I get some discomfort by like this area on the side of my face. I think it will vary a little bit on your head shape. And I feel like with over ear headphones, there is always a little bit of that clam force issue. But on these, I feel like it's a little bit more pronounced just because they're metal. Okay, sound. We need to talk about sound here because when you listen to your music on a great sounding pair of headphones, it's a life changing experience. And these sound great. The sound stage is incredible, meaning that it sounds like the instruments are separated throughout the room and not all coming from one place. And while they are a colorful profile and the bass is there, the mids and the highs are not drowned out. You can definitely hear all parts of the song. And for songs that have a lot of vocals in them, they really excel. In case you're interested, these are the albums that I mainly listen to, but I also listen to a lot of songs that were really beat and bass heavy just to kind of see how it sounded, and the bass is definitely here. They made me fall in love with a lot of songs in my playlist again. Songs that I've heard like hundreds of times felt brand new on these headphones because I was able to hear different things that I had never heard on any of the other headphones that I've used. And they also have spatial audio, so they use sensors in here to kind of evaluate where you're moving your head, and then the audio is positioned for that for supported content, which is a really cool feature. And these also have active noise cancellation and transparency mode, and that's kind of where we get to issue number one. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel and you're enjoying the video so far, be sure to subscribe to the channel, tons of other tech content coming. So the transparency mode on these is phenomenal. It literally is the best transparency mode that I've experienced on any headphone period. For anyone that doesn't know, it basically uses the microphones to filter in sounds. So you can still hear your environment while listening to your music. And on a lot of other active noise canceling headphones, it sounds very digitized and it's really hard to listen to for an extended period of time. But with these, I was actually able to keep on transparency mode for a majority of the time that I use these, which is incredibly impressive to me. And the active noise cancellation cancels out a ton of noise. It's definitely some of the best ANC on the market. However, it's a little uncomfortable for me. So a common phenomenon with active noise canceling headphones that are over ear is the feeling that you need to pop your ears. Mr. Mobile in his video said that it's psychosomatic and that basically as you take out more and more lower frequencies, your ears feel the need to equalize. And since these headphones take out a ton of lower frequencies, I constantly feel like my ears need to pop or that there's an uncomfortable force on my ear. That's one of the reasons why I don't love over ear headphones and I prefer like the AirPods Pro, which have some ANC that isn't as good as these, but provide some while still feeling like a very natural experience. With headphones, I feel like I always get this vacuum effect, but on the AirPods Pro, I definitely felt it more than on other headphones and it made it uncomfortable for me to use it for an extended period of time. So I would only really use ANC when it was an absolute necessity. Otherwise I would keep it off because it's just a little uncomfortable. The music definitely helps mask it. So if you're just wearing these with no music, I think you'll notice it a lot more than if you have music on, but either way, it's still very much there. And like the AirPods Pro that I just mentioned, these have instant pairing with multiple Apple devices so I can quickly pair on my phone and then go over to my computer and quickly pair there and adjust the volume and change transparency, active noise cancellation modes, et cetera, on the computer or on the phone. The ecosystem is one of the main reasons to buy these. Like if you're heavily invested, it makes a little bit more sense than someone wanting to use these on like an Android phone or something. And just like the AirPods Pro, they also have autoplay pause. So it notices when I take them off my head and it will pause my music. But here's the deal. If it can notice when I take it off my head, why can't it also shut off the headphones when I do that? Without putting these in the case, the headphones stay on for two hours and chew through the battery before going into a low power mode. So the case is like an integral part of the design. It's like your off button for these headphones because you may notice on the top of the headphones, it looks like it is a power button, but that's actually to change between the active noise cancellation and transparency mode. So there's not a power button on here, which just feels like a very typical Apple move. I know that they're trying to make convenience above all else, but having a power button would be great because while these do get 16 to 20 hours of battery life, it would be much improved if I was able to turn them off and not have to lug this case around with me everywhere in order to do that. Next to that button that we just mentioned, there's the crown to adjust volume. And I was a little skeptical going in, but I actually love it. It feels super intuitive and I like it actually better than a lot of touch controls that other headphones have. 
And when you deplete the battery, you can plug them in for five minutes and get 90 minutes of listening time, which is actually super respectable for the $549 price tag. But I'm having a little trouble coming around to that price tag, and here's why, stick with me. They sound incredible. They're one of my best sounding pair of headphones ever, and they have that Bluetooth convenience. Like if I wanted to get really high quality audio, normally I'd put on my open back hi-fi man headphones, which is a totally different use case. These are for the on the go user, the user that wants ANC. And I truly mean it when I say it made me fall in love with my playlist again. But for $550, you can get the iPhone SE and the AirPods Pro, which are a pair of headphones that have some ANC. And there's other headphones on the market that are cheaper that do a lot of similar things to this, which makes the $550 price tag a little hard to come around to. These headphones offer convenience, great sound quality, the Bluetooth connectivity, a horrible case, no cable in the box to directly plug these into your headphones, you have to buy that separately. The best transparency mode on the market, an effective ANC that is somewhat uncomfortable for me at least and many other users as well. Now, if what I just described to you sounds like a good time, then these headphones are for you. You are the person that should buy these, but I think for most people, they're better off getting a cheaper pair of headphones that maybe does a little bit less, but that will save them a lot of money. I think that Apple really knows how to do sound quality great and that these sound incredible, but I think that it's for a very very specific person and that there are a few major things to consider with them before you just spend a lot of money. If you like Apple content and you want to see another video that I've made about something Apple related, you can check out my iPhone 12 mini review here, my iPhone 12 review right here, and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more tech content. Thank you so much. Super appreciate you and I will catch you next week. Bye.